Me and Nugget M4, Seth, he actually lives in Tulsa as well. He let me borrow his chrome grills, and I took a ton of heat and got that den out. So it kind of looked normal. But the video today is not about the M4, it's actually about Chance's Porsche. What's up guys, so today we're gonna be working on the Panamera Turbo S. What we're gonna try to do is fix a P0068 code, which deals with... What's up, Jet? What's up? which deals with the mass airflow to throttle body correlation. Go ahead and hit it again. Oh, I thought you were going to hit the... <laughs> so, I thought first off it was the tune. So I went with a different company with tuning. Dang it, I... That didn't work. Um, so now I'm thinking it's actually going to be the way that the air goes into the throttle body. So the way that the fab speed charge pipe is clocked right now, it's kind of like at a, um, maybe like a 20 degree angle compared to the throttle body. So we're gonna to try to clock that forward, make it more perpendicular to the throttle body and see if that works. So what FVD tuning is, uh, they pretty much allow the stock sensors to open up all the way to their max threshold and the car kind of auto tunes off that. So we're also gonna put a GT3 RS throttle body on it, which is a larger throttle body. We'll compare those. And hopefully between reclocking the fab speed charge pipe and the new throttle body, we get rid of the P0068 code. That's what we're going for. And then I can get back into boost and... You're never getting back into boost, my guy. Not have an issue with the car. Every time you ever have any little boost, you break it. I haven't broken anything as far as like... I remember your 335, it would go racing oh, three yeah, poles. You'd be down again. By the way, if you did not know, this is a 2012 Porsche Panamera Turbo S. And this has been a little project on the channel, as you can tell. I love that you have to throw the S in there. I mean, I have to emphasize it too. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it. of course you have to. I shall see this. So this is from uh, Suncoast Parts, I believe. What's that? Uh, these are all new gaskets. It comes with the kit. I think. <laughs> Got it. Oh, maybe it was just a box that came in. I don't <laughs> fucking know. But there's the part number. Wait, was that in a box? Yes, this was. So they pulled up the box and put it in a box. Yeah, they did actually. I <laughs> did. Boom. That is fresh. Now, this is a throttle body. I would like to uh, compare sizes though, which you already told me it's five millimeters, but I want to see if there's a big difference. Visible difference. Also, because you haven't seen it, chance we installed the front lip. The side extensions, rear, well, a bunch of stuff. Just go watch the last video. But man, he made it like a couple hundred miles. Are you, were no, you in Florida? I was in Florida, so it's uh, over a thousand miles. A couple days, let's just say that. That's, that's the new ones at the house. I didn't want to bring it though. He smacked a poor little turtle. And I, I do want to mention, probably in the last video I mentioned, I never thought this would break. Like it is on there, it's super solid, it is a thick plastic that's flexible, and I just didn't see it coming. And it didn't last more than a week. I know. I'm super sad about it. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Just a bolt right there. There's a big nice hole. Bolt. There's not much to it. There really isn't. We'll get this off in seconds. Well. Ow, water. Bro, like seriously? You remember how much of a pain these were? No, I watched you do it. Remember that day it was cranky? <laughs> every day you're cranky. <laughs> That's not possible. What to be cranky every no, day? No, this is not possible. Oh, anything's possible. This is not, nope, this is not real life. Yeah, scratch my head and look around for a second. No, I'm doing better than you. Oh, nope, now, now we're equal. What? And now, what? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I was scared to break it. I'm thinking about electricity bills, mine doubled. Has yours gotten expensive? But we use like double kilowatts. We use about 400, 450, we use like 800. How did you get on the, the topic of electricity? It's been right bothering now. me the fact that I paid so much for electricity. How much do you pay? Because I pay like a hundred bucks a month. Ours is like two twenty. This month. Holy ball sack, my guy! So that's what it looks like with everything removed. Now we're gonna get on the throttle body. T thirty is my guess. T twenty seven. Yeah, he guessed it. Perfect time too. Dude, I'm. Ah, oh, I think we're both wrong. T twenty five, my guy. Dude, what? Okay, that's embarrassing. When you're one off, it's okay. When you're two off, that's a problem. I'm only one off though. You remember how 
hot it was when we did that charge pipe. And then when we were down in Dallas trying to put it back on in the middle of O'Reilly's parking lot. I want to say it's the GT3 RS. Why is it GT3 RS? What are you talking about? Like the that the new throttle body? Yes. Since it is Porsche. Yeah, they're still Porsche. Porsche. Warm scent. Okay. There's definitely a visual difference though. Which kind of worries me because this one sits up a little bit taller. Hey, I mean, I think about it though. What? The problem, see how much sh more shallow this is? It is shallow. Our, yes. our problem was we couldn't clock the pipe all the way forward. Wait, 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 wait. Will this? Yeah, it's it supposed will. to because the it inner will. diameter is the issue. Is the that's it's the gonna, wrong side? No. Oh yeah, you're right. Because this is the smaller side yeah, now. Yeah, it's fine though. You have to. This is gonna be a pain to stretch on. No, it's not. Yes, it is. But look though, it's the inner diameter really. You gotta take. I know. I see. You gotta take, don't you? You, have, you don't have a mic, do you? Mm -mm. Okay, so overall diameter is gonna be three and say three and a quarter. Seven sixteenths. I mean so specific. I'm just trying to get as accurate as I can. Three and seven sixteenths. And this OD looks like it's gonna be about three and just a hair over, so almost three and a half. So uh, barely a sixteenth wider. But the inner diameter, I mean this is three inch. This is almost three and a quarter. If if not. Which exactly makes a difference when it's all the way around. Sweet. Uh, they both pin pivot the same way. This one is a little bit dirty. On yeah, but that's normal. Cool. Let's get that puppy installed. Also, before we jump into that, uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to our TikTok, which is Bailey Durant YT on TikTok. Uh, we did just pass 100 followers on TikTok, and uh, it's been up for almost two and a half weeks. So I think it's pretty good growth. Um, hoping to hit a thousand by the end of September. So I know TikTok, you can really kind of grow. So that's a little shameless plug for the TikTok. done putting everything back together we just had the front intake piping and he's flashing in the car right now putting the tune on it so here in a second we're about to be going vroom vroom on the street we're gonna go vroom vroom <laughs> Watch it not work right now. Like watch it be like, oh, trip the code. Instantly. It does that sometimes. We didn't talk much about it earlier, but we kind of know it's not mechanical because sometimes it'll work, but that's rare. And then it'll all of a sudden just quit working. So if it's working, then that means it's kind of like all software. So the car is detecting if something's off and kind of putting in like a limp mode, not giving you a boost. Does that make sense? If it's mechanical, it, it, it wouldn't just, it would stay out boost completely. It wouldn't just work randomly, right? Yeah, that's what makes me think it, it was the tuning the whole time. Someone left a Hot Wheel on my car. That's sick. Someone literally dropped that off on his car while I was parked outside. He got it was, on the ring app. It was super cool, man. It's the little things in life. So I just I keep it I keep it chilling. Yeah. yeah, all good. So we did more pulls, and it's working on a specific tune. Another tune, it did not. But. We got the throttle body installed, and uh, we still got a little bit of things to fix in the car, so I'm sure there'll be another video on that. Overall, though, I think it was a successful day. So, because we've gone through pretty much everything, the one concern we just discussed is the MAF sensor. It might just be sitting up too high, where the sensor is actually not detecting the airflow. Potentially. Not saying that's the problem, but that is going to be something we look into the next time we pull this thing apart, which is not too high. And then again, to replace throttle body, pretty simple. You just take off your factory piping or aftermarket, and it's just four bolts and a plug. There's not much to it. Like, if you're planning on doing a throttle body upgrade, 
Just do it. It's easy. Now, what are the benefits of doing an eighth throttle body upgrade? We didn't really talk about that. Well, lar larger throttle body, more air. Which means potentially more power, especially if you do power, bigger more turbos. More air means more fuel, which means more power, baby. More power, baby. <laughs> so, solid. It is solid. He's moving the whole car. I'm still kind of pissed off that they send just some cheap ass tiny clamps. Like those clamps are less than a dollar a piece, and for a pipe, for a pipe that costs a thousand dollars, more than a thousand dollars is absolutely ridiculous. You know what else is ridiculous? In fact, you're having so many problems after replacing them. Yeah, pipe. just a freaking, it's a charge it's a pipe. pipe. <laughs> That's why I think it's the math sensor. Uh, and the math sensor is new, so we know it's not the actual sensor. It might be the depth. We haven't looked at that. We should have looked at that, but we weren't thinking about it at the moment, so we thought we had a solution. And again, like I said, the car is running right, but the other two did not, so that means it's not 100%. But thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.